Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to learn subtraction of 4 digit numbers without the concept of regrouping in class 3. This is one of the first topic the children will learn in class 3. There are many more topics that the children will learn with respect to subtraction in class 3 which I have detailed in the end of this video. So stay with me till the end of this session. We know that subtraction is one of the mathematical operations on numbers. The first sum we have here is 8579 minus 1236. Just like addition, it is always a good practice to write down the place values of the numbers. And here in subtraction also, you will begin the subtraction from the ones place just like in addition. Subtraction can be performed by two methods. I am sure you would have learnt in your lower classes. It can be either backward subtraction or forward subtraction. First, let us see what is backward subtraction. In the ones place, we have 9 minus 6. In backward subtraction, you will keep 9 in the mind and 6 in the fingers. Because it is backward subtraction, you will count the numbers in the backward direction now. Before 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. So the answer will be 3. If it is going to be forward subtraction, you will be counting after 6, it is 7, 8, 9 and the answer is 3. Hope you understand the difference between backward and forward subtraction. You would have learned this in your lower classes. In this video, I will be using the backward subtraction concept. Once the 1's place is over, next move on to the 10's place. 7 minus 3. Before 7, 6, 5, 4. Next move on to the hundreds place. 5 minus 2. Before 5, 4, 3. Next move on to the thousands place. 8 minus 1. 8 minus 1. When you subtract 1 from a number, you will get the before number. So 8 minus 1 is 7. So the subtraction of the two four digit numbers 8579 minus 1236 will give you the answer or the difference 7343. What is the answer in a subtraction called as? Difference. So the difference between these two numbers is 7343. Let us do another example to understand this concept better. Here we have 4568 minus 2341. Write down the place values and begin the subtraction from the ones place. 8 minus 1. It is 7. Next move on to the tens place. 6 minus 4. Before 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Move on to the hundreds place. 5 minus 3. Before 5, 4, 3, 2. Next move on to the thousands place. 4 minus 2. It is before 4, 3, 2. So the answer for the difference between the two numbers is 2227. Let us do some more examples. Subtract 4127 from 6648. So which is the bigger number over here? 6648 is a bigger number and we are going to subtract 4127 from the bigger number 6648. We know that in subtraction we will always write the bigger number on the top and the smaller number below it. Now once you write down the numbers one below the other, next write down the place values ones, tens, hundreds and thousands and begin the subtraction from the ones place. 8 minus 7 is before 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 8 minus 7 is 1. Next move on to the tens place. 4 minus 2. 4 in the mind and 2 in the fingers. Before 4, 3, 2. I am not repeating the same thing. Have it in mind. Have it in fingers. It is understood that 6 minus 1 means 6 is in the mind and 1 is in the fingers. And before 6, it is going to be 5. Next move on to the thousands place. 6 minus 4. Before 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. So this difference between 6,648 and 4,127 is 2,521. 
The next example that we are going to see is subtract 326 from 5498. Here notice that we don't have both the numbers to be four digit numbers. Here we are going to subtract the three digit number from a four digit number. In such cases, First, write down the bigger number and write down the place values. This will help you to write down the smaller number in their appropriate places. So, now we have to write 326. So, it will be occupying the ones, tens and hundreds place. So, write down the numbers one below the other and begin the subtraction from the ones place. 8 minus 6 is before 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Move on to the tens place. 9 minus 2 is... Before 9, 8, 7. Move on to the hundreds place. 4 minus 3 is before 4, 3, 2, 1. And then in the thousands place, you do not have any digit in the second number. So, you just take and write down the 5 in the answer. So, the answer for subtraction of 326 from 5498 is 5172. The next example that we are going to see is subtract 48 from 3269. So here you are going to subtract a two digit number from a four digit number. So the best practice is to write down the bigger number, write down the place values so that you can write the smaller number in their appropriate correct places. Now begin the subtraction from the ones place. 9 minus 8 is before 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Move on to the tens place. 6 minus 4. Before 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Next, move on to the hundreds place. In hundreds place, you have 2 in the first number and there is no digit in the second number. So, just take and write down 2. Next, move on to the thousands place. Here also, you do not have any digit in the thousands place for the second number. So, you just take and write down 3. So, when you subtract 48 from 3269, you get the answer 3,221. The next example that we are going to see is subtract 3,204 from 7,836. Here we have two four digit numbers but a little difference here is in the second number you have a zero. So let us see how to do this now. Write down the numbers one below the other and write down the place values. Begin the subtraction from the ones please. 6 minus 4 is before 6. 5, 4, 3, 2. Next, move on to the tens place. 3 minus 0. From the properties of 0, we have learned that when 0 is subtracted from any number, you will get the same number. So, 3 minus 0 will give you the same number, 3. Next, move on to the hundreds place. 8 minus 2. Before 8, 7, 6. Next, move on to the thousands place. 7 minus 3. Before 7, 6, 5, 4. So, the difference between the two numbers 7,836 and 3,204 is 4,632. Let us do some more sums. Subtract 1,500 from 4,500. So, write down the numbers one below the other and write the place values. Begin the addition from ones place. We have 0 and 0 in the ones place. So, 0 minus 0 is going to give you 0. Next, move on to tens place. Here again, you have 0 minus 0. So, you get the answer to be 0. Next, move on to the hundreds place. 5 minus 5. When you subtract a number from itself, you will get the answer to be 0. This is also one of the properties of subtraction. So, next, move on to the thousands place. When you subtract 4 minus 1, you will get before 4, it is 3. So, when you subtract 1500 from 4500, you will get the answer to be 3000. Let us do this example now. Subtract 6666 from 8888. So write down the numbers one below the other, the bigger number on the top and the smaller number at the bottom. Write down the place values. Begin the subtraction from the ones place. 8 minus 6 before 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Move on to the tens place. Here again 8 minus 6. So it will be 2. Next move on to the hundreds place. Here again it is 8 minus 6 which is going to give you 2. And in the thousands place also you have 8 minus 6 which is going to give you 2. 
So the difference between the two numbers 8888 and 6666 is going to give you the answer 2222. Dear viewers, these are the topics that children will learn in class 3 under the topic subtraction of which we have covered this topic subtraction of 4 digit numbers without regrouping in this video. In my upcoming videos we will be covering the topic subtraction of 4 digit numbers with regrouping concept. Next we will be seeing combining addition and subtraction concept and deal with properties of subtraction. Then we will be seeing relationship between addition and subtraction and checking subtraction by addition in one of the videos. Then we will be dealing with story sums and then mental math and subtraction worksheet. Dear viewers, I will be covering each of these topics in separate videos and links to all the related videos will be given below in the description box for your quick and easy access. Thank you for watching my video. See you in the next video with the next topic on subtraction. If you like my video, give a thumbs up, share it with your friends and do subscribe to my channel. Do not forget to tap on the bell button to get regular notifications of all the new videos that I make in my channel. See you again.